What's going on everybody? The Network Berg here. Hope you've been doing well. Apologies for not uploading any videos recently. I've just been a bit busy in real life. I've actually got some cool things coming up in the background and I'll share that with you all soon. But I do still want to make YouTube videos. So that's why I'm here. And we're going to start off with importing a Linux host into EVNG. Why would we want to do that? Well, you can use this host for various things. You can use it to install Visual Studio Code. You can use it to bring up Kali Linux if you want to get into security stuff. Um, you can install Ansible on it to get like a hands-on feel on automation. It's really exciting. Also, think about it. You could, you could use this host as an actual host on your network in EVNG in order to troubleshoot and see the repercussions of your network changes from a user's perspective. It's really nice, it's really fun, and you're gonna enjoy it. So let's get into the video on how to add a Linux host in EVNG. So our first step will be downloading the Linux image. We will get this from the EVNG website uh, the guys at EVNG have been really helpful in making this super easy because there's two ways you can go about adding a Linux image into EVNG. There's the easy way, which I prefer, and there's the hard way. And I'm not going to cover the hard way. If you want to pursue it, it is in the written guide. So let's just quickly go on to our documentation. And I hang out here a lot. If I don't know how to bring something into a topology, I'll generally just come here, look at the how-to documents, and see how it's done read up on how it's done and it's real easy so in our case we're just going to scroll down and we're going to find create own linux host image there we go so i'm going to click on this and this is the step-by-step -step guide written as well and it's fairly straightforward if you read through this <laughs> you'll just do it without having to watch the video but if you like seeing how things are done this is why this video is here so what we're going to do is we're just going to download that Linux host image and it's going to take us to this mirror. And from this mirror, we are able to select all the different type of images. Now, each image is a different type of host or OS. And we got stuff like Kali here. We get stuff like Mint, everything that you want. But I put specifically want Ubuntu desktop and I will download this Ubuntu desktop. So I would download this. You do need to use uh, Chrome or Firefox. Please don't use IE. This is just to demonstrate. But you could download this as a zip or just as a straight file. If you download it as a zip, remember to unzip it as well because it is in a tar format already or, or a GZ. And this you need to extract in Linux or in EVNG as well. So this image I've already downloaded. I've already got a copy of it on my computer. So there's my Linux image. So our next step will be to upload it using WinSCP or FileZilla, depending on what you've installed. So I'm just going to use WinSCP. And this is to my EVNG Community Edition. I do have a Pro Edition, but I'm demonstrating this for people that maybe just use Community. And it's the same steps if you use Pro. So 128 is my Eve host. I'm going to log in with root and Eve. And there we go. Now let's just navigate to the correct folder. So OPT. And we're going to go into unit lab. We're going to go into add-ons. We're going to go into Kimu. And in Kimu, we can just copy this file. Okay, so while the file is copying, we'll just wait a little bit. I'm going to pause the video here so that the copy just finishes and we'll continue as soon as that's done. Hooray, our copy is done. Now we can go on to the next step, which is us just having to go into EVNG and extract that file. So let's go into our host. I'm using, of course, uh, Workstation Player, which is free and I can only run one VM at a time. I'm already on the Eve box. So let's just change directory to the directory we copied the file. So let's cd to opt, unit lab, add-on, kimu, and that should be it, yes. Now all that we need to do is tar, zxvf, and then our Linux tar file. So 
this will extract the files, will create the right folder, and there will already be a VM in there, which is the cool part. So let's extract that. It's just busy extracting. And this is really the easy part. If you go the long route where you need to um, put an image like a CD into the disk and then run the install from start to finish, it takes roughly like an hour, hour and a half just to get that done. So this is what I appreciate from the Eve guys as well, just allowing us a way to quickly import these Linux hosts where they've already done the, the hard work for us. So I really appreciate that. Sorry, the extracting does take a little bit of time. It is still a two gig file, so we just wait for that now. So I'm going to pause until the extract is done. All right, so the extraction has finished and now we just can quickly verify that the file is there by just changing the directory to opt unit lab add-ons camel and if i look at my linux there is my folder so if i do an ls minus la we'll just see the virtual.qcow2 there so it's already been added awesome stuff this means we've added the host into evng what we can do is just quickly run a fix permissions command so that is an opt then unit lab wrappers unl wrapper minus a fix permissions hit enter and that's done guys that is really all that it is to get this host image installed so let's go into our eve canvas quickly add a node find linux we can leave this on default you maybe want to just change it around to something else a bit smaller you can maybe go for a gig but i'll leave it on two gig for now I'll change my nick to E1000. You don't have to do that, but I, I think that other speed is 10 meg. Um, this is a, a gig, so I want speed, right? And the important thing to change is this VGA to QXL. And this allows you to just change the resolution in the Linux box to something a bit bigger so it doesn't look weird. I'm going to save this now. Oh, one more thing. In this images tab, if you download other distros like Kali or Mint or something, this is where you can go to select them. So maybe you want to brush up on your security, go to Kali. Save this. And there we go. So now we've got our node. I just want to connect it to the internet and start it up. So this is now a real Linux box starting up for the first time. <laughs> But it's already been pre-configured, so it's, it's got all the base features you want and it's going to do everything that we need. Now I'm just going to wait for it to start up so I can show you that it is running and that you can use um, the update software just to get the system to its current patches because that's where we want it when we install other things like Ansible and Visual Studio Code. So let's just wait for the startup to finish and then we'll continue. All right, so my screen jumped here, so I can log in. You can click on user, and to get all of the usernames and passwords, it is on the Eve website again. If you go here ready to get the Linux image, if you scroll down, all of the configured usernames are on there. So generally it might be user with test123 or root and root. So let's just go back to our topology, and let's go I saw it was test one, two, three with a capital T. I'm going to sign in. <laughs> awesome. This is really fun. Now we have a Linux host that we can use however we want on the network. And it's going to be so cool. Come on, little host. The initial startup for the host the first time around does take a little bit of time. But after that, it, it gets a lot better. And also, I feel like it's a lot faster on Pro, but that might just be, be me. So we're just waiting for this to get us into the foreground. There we go. It looks like it's doing its thing. And there we go. I can full screen it. If you want to look at how to change resolutions and stuff, there's plenty of things on the net for that. So I just want to show you how to quickly do the update. And for that, we can just click on this A. It will start up this button. It's also doing its thing there. Just to tell you, it has software updates. So when it asks you to install the updates, click yes and let it do its thing. 
so that you get to the latest distribution version. That's the end of the video. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the upcoming things where we're going to study real hard and have a lot of fun in EVNG. See you guys.